Chances are you have your favorite go-to birthday cake, but how about enjoying the one everyone was eating on the day you were born? Let's take a walk down memory lane and look at all the biggest, best, and most popular cakes that have trended over the years. So, what was the most popular cake the year you were born? 1948 to 1956, chiffon cake. A light, dairy-free cake that looks a lot like angel food, chiffon has the same spongy texture, but this cake is made with both egg whites and yolks, along with fruit juice. Invented by a guy with the perfect name of Harry Baker, chiffon cake was popularized in 1948 after he sold the recipe to Betty Crocker. 1957-1960 German Chocolate Cake German chocolate cake isn't actually German, says NPR, and was instead named for Sam German, the creator of a sweet baking chocolate aptly called German's Chocolate. Even though the chocolate hit the market in 1852, it wasn't until 1957 that it became hugely popular, when a Texas baker sent her chocolate cake recipe to a Dallas newspaper. German sweet baking chocolate was the key ingredient, and the cake was so popular, their sales rose around 73%. 1961 to 1965, Pink Champagne Cake Chocolate cakes made with cola have been popular across the southern U.S. for decades, but in the beginning of the 1960s, it was the West Coast Pink Champagne Cake that rose to the top. The layers of this sweet light cake were usually separated by a layer of coconut or Bavarian cream, then covered in fondant for a delicious, unique flavor. 1966 – Tunnel of Fudge Cake In 1966, America was all about the decadent Tunnel of Fudge Cake, which popularized Nordic Ware's Bunt Baking Pan. The pan was almost discontinued by the company until Houston's Ella Helfrich used it for her Pillsbury Bake Off competition cake in 1966. Her tunnel of fudge cake, with its chocolate nut bunt-shaped cake and fudgy middle, came in second. But it became so popular, Nordic Ware was making 30,000 bunt pans a day to keep up with demand. 1967-1971 Carrot Cake Carrot cake got a major boost in the late 1960s when the cream cheese frosting we know and love today became the go-to topping. And let's be honest here, it's the frosting that makes it. Couple that with an increasingly health-conscious country, and carrot cake surged in popularity. It stayed near the top for years, too, because the carrots make it healthy, right? So you're getting carrot cake? Isn't that a little cliché? Rabbits? Carrots? 1972 to 1973, Sakatomi Cake The 1970s Sakatomi Cake was a kind of coffee cake, and it looked pretty boring from the outside. Cut into it, though, and you'll find a layer of brown sugar, cinnamon, and pecan filling. The main draw, though, seemed to be simply that the name was a pop culture reference to one of the biggest shows on television at the time, Laugh In. Sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me. Sock it to yourself. <laughs> sock it to me? 1974, the Watergate cake. Some events define an era, and Watergate was one of those events. It was so earth-shattering that it even spawned a dessert, a white cake colored bright green with the help of club soda and pistachio jello. Sounds weird? It totally was. And it was also massively popular around the time of President Nixon's resignation. According to Atlas Obscura, it was defined as a cake hiding a ton of nuts beneath a heavy cover-up of icing, and it was timely. At least the Watergate cake usually came with a sweet center. 1975 to 1977, Jell-O Poke Cakes. Jell-O was huge in the 70s, and the invention of the Jell-O cake put it over the top. Integrating the cake in the Jell-O only requires poking some holes in the cake and pouring in the Jell-O. It's both simple and tasty, so it's no wonder this slightly psychedelic cake was so popular. 1978 to 1983, Hummingbird Cake. A light cake filled with the sweet flavors of banana and pineapple, Hummingbird Cake hit the big time with the February 1978 issue of Southern Living. That's when Mrs. L.H. Wiggins' recipe was published, and for decades, it's remained their most requested recipe. 1984 to 1987, Tiramisu. The origins of tiramisu are shrouded in mystery, and so is its sudden rise to fame as America's favorite cake of the 80s. The word tiramisu first appeared in print in 1982, and the first recipe for the spongy, chocolatey, espresso-infused cake was published in 1983. Within a year, tiramisu was a national craze, right up there with leg warmers and Cabbage Patch Kids, only much, much tastier. 1988 – Chocolate Praline Layer Cake in 1988, Pillsbury Bake Off competition introduced another star to the dessert world with the chocolate praline layer cake. Julie Bankston's recipe for a devil's food cake layered with sugary pecans and whipped cream proved that box cake mix definitely doesn't have to be boring and that layered cakes don't have to be difficult. No wonder it was a massive hit. 1989 to 1990, Funfetti. In 1989, Pillsbury did something revolutionary. They put rainbow sprinkles in the cake batter itself, instead of just on top. It's a pretty simple idea, but according to the New York Times, Funfetti kicked off a craze that defined 1990s cakes. Hey, it's got fun right in the name, so you know it's good. 1991 to 1994, Chocolate Lava Cake 
hard to believe, but once upon a time, nobody had ever heard of chocolate lava cake. That changed in the early 90s when this warm chocolate cake with a gooey center became what Chef Sherry Yard calls the viral dessert of the 90s. It soon spread from coast to coast, and now just about every mid-priced restaurant in America offers it as a delicious dessert option. 1995 Viennetta In 1995, you couldn't turn on the television without seeing commercials for Breyer's Viennetta. Eater called it the most distinguished ice cream cake of the 90s, and it definitely was. Unfortunately, these days you have to go overseas to discover the decadence of mid-90s ice cream cake, as Viennetta is no longer widely available in America. But we think it's worth the trip. 1996 to 1999 Red Velvet According to food historian Kim Severson, red velvet dates back to the 19th century, with the red part just a gimmick to sell more food coloring. But the recipe took off after a cameo appearance in the 1989 film Steel Magnolias and led to a new version of the cake being introduced by New York City's Magnolia Bakery in 1996. Red velvet everything became the rage. Our taste buds thank you, Shirley MacLaine. 2000 – Anything in Cupcake Form the Magnolia Bakery also helped turn cupcakes into a national obsession after the delicious treat was featured in an episode of Sex and the City. Not everyone was a fan, though, as some felt the fad drove quirkier foods out in favor of chasing the latest hot trend. But hey, cupcakes! 2001 to 2007 – Bacon Cakes According to the National Pork Board, bacon sales jumped 25% in 2001, and we haven't looked back since. With recipes for maple bacon cakes, bacon and blueberry cakes, bourbon bacon cakes, and cakes filled with brown sugar and bacony goodness, bacon reigned for years in a delicious dictatorship of savory goodness. 2008 – Anything in Cake Pop Form Thanks to social media, it's all about the trends. Cakes gave way to cupcakes, and in 2008, blogger Angie Dudley, better known to some as Bakerella, created the cake pop. After Dudley appeared on The Martha Stewart Show to demonstrate her genius invention, cake pops became a national obsession, turning her book Cake Pops Tips, Tricks, and Recipes for More Than 40 Irresistible Mini Treats into a New York Times bestseller. Our review? Yum! Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!